This video demonstrates the Silk Performer Java framework used in combination with the Eclipse plugin and the Class Import tool. I already have Silk Performer Workbench 15 installed on this system. Now I'll install the Silk Performer plugin in Eclipse. So let's launch Eclipse. Now I'll select the file path to the plugin installer. The plugin installer itself is not visible yet, so I'll deselect the group items by category option box. Now I can select the installer and click next. I'll click next again and then accept the license agreement. Then click finish. Confirm OK on the security dialog box and then the installation begins. Click Yes to restart Eclipse. And now I can create a Silk Performer project in Eclipse. This project generates a sample virtual user script in Java and then makes use of some of Silk Performer's Java framework functions. We'll give this project a unique project name and click Finish to complete the project. Here you can see the project's BDF script and the Java code. Let's run the script in a try script and take a look at it. Here you can see the hello world outputs of the virtual user. And now we'll adapt the test main method to demonstrate the use of the Silk Performer object, which offers some BDL functionality in Java. Let's add the virtual user's unique ID to the Hello World outputs. Now I'll add a getUserID method. and I'll adapt the Hello World output string. And finally, I'll replace the wait with a think time call. As the thinkTime method may throw an exception, I need to place it within a try catch block. Now I'll run another try script. Note that the try script ignores thinkTime, so the execution is very fast. During future test runs, the thinktimes will be considered. Now we can perform some debugging in Eclipse. The breakpoint at think time allows us to see the current value of D weight interval S. Now I'm going to adjust the think time settings in the profile settings. I'll turn off the stress test option and set the random think time setting to uniform distribution. 
The virtual user report is available here if you want to review the results of the TriScript run. Now we're ready to open the project in Silk Performer. And here again you see the project's BDF script and the Java code imported from Silk Performer. Now let's run another try script from within Silk Performer. I'm happy with the results, so we can now run an actual load test. I'll accept the default user type and select the increasing workload model. We'll accept the default agent and monitoring configuration. And now I'm ready to run the test. Now taking a look at the output of one of the virtual users, you can see the user ID in the printed lines. Let's take a look at the output of another virtual user. The output for this user also looks fine. And now our test is complete, so let's review the detailed test report. Now we can review the results of the test in an overview report using Silk Performance Explorer. Another way to work with Java Framework is to use existing Java code. Let's select the class import wizard and generate a BDL stub for loading a Java virtual machine and calling Java methods from BDL. Here is the class I'll import, JFW sample. Amongst other methods, this class exposes a method to concatenate two integers. Here I'll specify the two integers for concatenation along with a print line. Let's run another try script. And here are the two integers I inserted. The result of the concatenation is here. So there you are, two approaches to working with Silk Performer Java Framework. Note that you can also import JUnit packages along with any other type of Java package and class. Thanks for watching.